Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton, and welcome to my starting 11 show for tomorrow night's Carabao Cup game against Lincoln City. Of course, we need no reminding that Everton have never won the League Cup in our entire history, so maybe this could be our year to change things. But for me, it will only change if Marco Silva takes this cup seriously. Fortunately for Silva, I do think it could be a win-win situation for once going into a cup tie where we are clear favourites. For once, it actually makes sense for the manager to make changes regardless at this moment in time in the aftermath of that shocking performance we put in at Villa last week. With that in mind, I think it's a great chance for other players to get their chance in the starting team if he does make changes and maybe those players could make the position their own moving forward. So starting off, of course, with the goalkeeper spot and in the cup competitions, it is an English tradition and it seems to pick your backup goalkeeper. I do believe, though, Jordan Pickford will be picked and should be picked. Given that Marco Silva announced today that Mar Jonas Lossel risks missing the game due to a calf injury, one hopes if Lossel is unable to play that Pickford is the route we go down and maybe instead of turning to the ageing Martin Stecklenberg who performed poorly against Southampton last season in the third round when we got knocked out of this tournament on penalties. So I'm going for Everton's number one to retain the number one jersey and play in goal tomorrow night. Defensively, of course, we're a little short at centre-half, albeit in Yeti Mina's case, not literally. I'd like to see Mina and Michael Keane play together once more tomorrow and hope they continue to develop maybe more of an understanding that would definitely benefit from more consistent appearances together on the pitch. Yes, we can see the twice against Aston Villa, but how much of that was down to the defence is up for question. Perhaps that might be a harsh decision on my part on Mason Holgate, but centre-back is in a position I like to see altered unless absolutely necessary. I do expect changes at full-back though. If Leighton Baines is fit to play, I'd expect to see him get, an, get the nod. It'll be an increasingly rare run-out for him at left-back, but I do have no doubt that he can do a job even now when called upon. So yeah, he gets the nod at left-back. If he isn't fit, then I'm sure no one will have any qualms with Luca Dean playing at left-back against Lincoln. At right full-back, I'd like to see a fair start for Everton for Jibidil Sidibe, who has yet to get any minutes for us. I'm very confident his name, if I can pronounce it, will indeed be on the team sheet tomorrow, with James Coleman dropping to the subs bench. And Coleman's absence from the team may once more hand an opportunity for Tom Davis to don the captain's armband for Everton. And the occasions when he did so last season, it seemed to be a role he relished. After the horror show from all three of our central midfielders at Villa on Friday, we're almost certain to see at least one of them dropped. And Tom Davis, it seems, is the most ready, if not the only ready, centre mid to, to take over one of those roles in midfield. With Fabian Delph still only just recovering from injury and probably set for no more than maybe a cameo appearance from the subs bench. Now there has been plenty of talk about maybe changing the formation of late. People saying maybe we've gone a bit stale with the 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3, whichever way you want to look at that. Many have suggested the 4-4-2 formation might be a little thing to try out in this game, but I am going to stick with 4-3-3 in my selection. Alongside Davis, I'm going to go with the more attacking two of that underperforming trio, Gilfie Sigurdsson and Andre Gomez. Sigurdsson's end product on his day is far better than the other two, and you'd imagine he'd be the most likely one to get as a goal. Aside from Friday, we've seen enough of Andre Gomez to know that he does offer a level of composure in our midfield, which could be very useful in a blood and thunder game at Central Bank. It could be a bit of a pressure cooker, and maybe Gomez can handle that better than the others, but I do think Sigurdsson is the most likely to produce a moment of magic maybe and get the goal or the assist that we need. I'm going to go with the more attacking players overall though because I'd like to think we're going to go out there and try and get a goal from the off. We, we are the favourites and we should be looking to assert ourselves even as the away side and hopefully Silver adopts that mindset because if we attack and get an early goal it seems to be the best method for us to bounce back from the poor performance last week and do that as quickly as possible. 
As for the front three, Alex Iwobi was the rare shining light in that lifeless display at Aston Villa. And it would make perfect sense for him to get his full debut in this game. Iwobi's going to be chomping at the bit, you'd imagine, to get into that starting lineup, And this was no doubt his chance to stake his claim. Richarlison has been very poor at the start of this season. He needs a rest desperately. And I do believe we will give him one tomorrow. We think he will be on the subs bench. Despite this one, I'm sure, being a unanimously unpopular shout, I'm going to give Theo Walcott the slot on the right-hand side. Although, to be honest, there isn't any real alternative if Richie isn't getting picked in that role. So, it's Walcott and there will be on the flanks. And finally, for the most obvious change, I'd make Moyes Keane simply must make his full debut at Lincoln tomorrow. Dominic Calvert-Lewin played poorly against Aston Villa. Albeit not quite as poorly, I don't think, as many knee-jerk reactions from the fans suggest he did on Friday night. But I do believe he is underperforming quite badly and he does need to be taken from the firing line for a bit. Tomorrow night could be Keane's chance to bag his first Everton goal. And if he does so, it could take the pressure off Calvert-Lewin as well. So it could be win-win. So I'd certainly give Keane the nod up front and that rounds off the team. So there you have it, there's my starting 11 for Lincoln City at Sinsel Bank tomorrow night. Let me know what you guys think about my selection in the comments of course. We've also got a match preview up at the moment if you want to check that out as well as plenty of other great content to come your way before and after the match. So be sure to subscribe to the channel as well and thank you guys for watching on the Toffee Blues.